violet bet double has arrived beside the lily. Again, the ruby-clad rose is tearing her gown to shreds. Again, our green-gowned ones have gaily arrived from beyond the world, swift as the wind, drunken and stalking and joyous. The standard-bearing cypress went off and consumed autumn with rage. And from the mountaintop, the sweet-featured anemone showed its face. The hyacinth said to the jasmine, Peace be upon you. The latter replied, Upon you be peace. Come, lad, into the meadow. A Sufi on every side, having attained some favor, clapping hands like the plane tree, dancing like the zephyr. The bud, concealing its face like veiled ladies, the breeze draws aside its chador, saying, Unveil your face, good friend. The friend is in this quarter of ours. Water is this our stream. Lotus in your finery, why are you a thirst and pale? Sour-faced winter has departed. That joy slayer has been slain. Swift-footed jasmine, long may you live. The busy narcissist winked at the birder. The birder understood its words and said, yours is the command. The clove said to the willow, I am in hope of you. The willow answered, my bachelor apartment is your private chamber. Welcome. The apple said, Orange, why are you covered? The orange replied, I do not show myself off for fear of the evil eye. The rain dove came cooing, Where is that friend? The sweet noted nightingale pointed him to the rose. Beside the world's springtime, there is a secret spring, moon cheeked and sweet of mouth. Give wine, O Saki. Moon rising in the shadows of darkness, the light of whose lamp vanquishes the sun at noon. Several words yet remain unsaid, but it is unseasonably late. Whatever was omitted in the night, I will come back tomorrow.